So I thought that one was good because to slow down, they use the arrow braking by increasing the surface hitting the oncoming air, which is the wings rotating up. Okay. And then the as it slows down, the thrust is down to keep it above the ground and slowly move it down. So I was okay with that. Okay. So arrow braking plus downward thrust equals vertical landing. I was super confused. This this one didn't feel good to me because I was I thought that's like there's so much ship out here. There's so much ship out here and the rockets the like the engines are going down. Like shouldn't this thing be like tipping? Like shouldn't it be tipping forward? Like so my only comment to that is sometimes, you know, the volume of an aircraft or a spacecraft doesn't match up well with where the mass is distributed. So like the, this nose could be extremely light and not contributing much to the, to the oh. mass. So center mass truly is near back where the engines are. So like this could be, a, for example, like, yeah, this could be a bunch of actually hollow, just air, yeah. just shaped like this for air aerodynamics yeah. this could be like like electronics and mm -hmm. so actually all the mass is really back there right kind so of like in like a 747 like in the front there even mm -hmm. though it's big and bulbous in the front there's like electronics in the front and like, mm -hmm. you're like you know what i'm talking about like the nose tip yeah. um, but really the most of the mass is wherever your mom's sitting oh my god speechless <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so good landing. Yeah. So the next one, this one is super weird to me. So the yeah. thrust is, so the, 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 the fuel is getting, the, the gases are getting thrown out backwards, which is gonna push the craft towards the nose. And maybe a little Which bit I guess up. in this picture is towards this, this wall here. That's right. This mountain. But somehow it's accelerating toward the camera. Uh, yeah, looks so weird. It looks weird, right? It look reminds me of like you know when you go to Disneyland and you're on these these like carts cars that have steering wheels, but the steering wheels don't do anything because you're on a track. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of that. Like like you're telling it to go this way, but the car is just sliding somewhere because something it's it's on a rail system that's telling it where to go. Mm -hmm. Like these, it looks like these engines don't do what they're supposed to do. I mean, they must, because it's eventually when it gets close to the ground, those engines are the only thing holding it up. Mm -hmm. So they're working here. Otherwise it would just slam into the ground. Well, I guess what causes it to turn? What causes it to turn? Maybe it, uh, even the aerodynamic braking is only going to slow it down. It's not going to is it going to change its like i guess you could somehow they they those wings as they rotate up generate some sort of lift that push it toward the camera i guess yeah it looks like it wouldn't work and and it looks really funny to me now that i think about it, about it like how does she control her role like i i can imagine maybe the one wing is tilted more than the other so that's mm -hmm. how you get more force you start you can start turning this way because yeah. the wind's coming toward start turning this way but like if they're slanted like this that means you also get different different down forces so how does this thing her ship not roll over yeah so if it has maybe it has some really advanced you know software control so even though the okay. aerodynamics of these wings that rotate is extremely complex complicated yeah but if you know, if you can characterize what happens and you give an input to the joystick, the computer can be like, this is what we need to do. And then it does the <laughs> complex thing to make it happen. But yeah. if you directly controlled these things as a human, it would take a trem maybe it's even impossible because it's so complex. Right. Apparently this is modern aircraft design requires computer control because they designed them to be aerodynamically unstable. And they uh, do micro corrections right. to keep them stable. So if you need to turn, you just, you right. unstabilify them. Apparently. If I you know. remember the reason you don't want it to be, if the reason you want it to be unstable 
is because you want to be to be able to turn. If it's super stable, then it, the plane will keep itself in that orientation. That's right. Because it's stable. Yeah. So you actually want it to be unstable so that when you want to turn, it, it'll go. So um, maybe this is what's happening here, is it's actually really advanced and it's unstable and the software is controlling that. It knows how to do all the little micro corrections. Mm -hmm. okay, 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 I'm down. I buy it. <laughs>